This Good Morning Northwest Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. The time is now 6.52. Time to get you ready to take on your Monday in the Morning Sprint. Sydney Charles has the latest details on growing health concerns in Gaza as Israel's war with Hamas continues. But first, let's get to Mark with your forecast on a cloudy, foggy day ahead. All right, Natalie, you wanted uh, comfort, right? Well, here's beautiful comfort, our first alert weather. Got a cup of coffee, got the fire in the background. Here's the four things you need to know. It's going to be clouds and fog today. There's going to be that light drizzle aspect for the next several days. Above average temperatures all week long, but uh, the best chance of showers, that's going to be for Thursday. Now, forecast radar, all of this energy into Montana is going to push south out of the area by this afternoon. We're looking pretty good. Our day today, yeah, we're going to warm up to 38, but air quality should stay good all day. We hope to learn more today about a deadly double shooting in East Spokane. Detectives say people heard gunshots around 11 o'clock Friday night near Minnehaha Park. When officers arrived on Cleveland Avenue near Cuba Street, they say they found a man shot inside a vehicle and a woman shot in the street. Both were pronounced dead at the scene. No arrests have been made. Police say they are still reviewing surveillance cameras in the area for clues. The Major Crimes Unit is investigating, and Spokane Police say the medical examiner will release the names uh, and the cause of death for the man and the woman at a later date. They are asking anyone who may have surveillance footage who has not been contacted by police to call Crime Check 509-456-2233. Well, fire crews put out a house fire in, a, in Lewiston that caused about $120,000 worth of damage. It happened near 7th and 14th Avenue on Saturday morning. But no one was inside at the home that, at the time of the fire, and the cause is still under investigation. The same day, one person was injured in an apartment fire in Spokane. It happened near East Nor Avenue, just off of Ruby. When firefighters arrived, they saw a person leaning out of a window on the third floor. Crews rescued the person who was suffering from smoke inhalation. No word yet on what caused that fire. Well, President Joe Biden is welcoming Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky to the White House on Tuesday. This visit comes as Congress is in a stalemate over a funding package that does, in part, have money earmarked for Ukraine. Now, members of the Biden administration have warned about the potential consequences for Ukraine if Congress does not pass any additional aid. The city of Spokane Valley is hosting an open house tonight to give community members information about the city's housing and homelessness program. Representatives from the city and the police department will be there at the Center Place Regional Event Center tonight. The city says people can ask questions, share ideas, and gain insight into the city's initiatives to combat homelessness. The open house starts at 5 o'clock. It runs until 7. Well, today the House will vote on a bill that's aimed at lowering the cost of prescription drugs. Representative Kathy McMorris-Rogers is leading that bill. Now, if approved, it would increase transparency from health care providers about costs of medications. It would also make it illegal for pharmacies to charge different prices for the same medications for Medicaid patients. Former Spokane Mayor Jack Garrity has died at the age of 89. That's according to the Spokesman Review, one of several newspapers Garrity worked for in his lifetime. He also served as a county commissioner. He's perhaps best known for developing River Park Square. At the time, it was a controversial decision, but it helped revitalize the area. And this morning, a desperate situation in Gaza. The World Health Organization cautions that Gaza's health care system is collapsing and residents are desperate for food, water, and basic necessities. An official at the World Food Program warns that there's not enough food. People are starving. Israeli forces now claim they've killed 7,000 Hamas fighters since the war began. More than 18,000 Palestinians have died. That's according to the Hamas-run health ministry, which also says about 90% of Gaza's population has reportedly been displaced. Coverage on the humanitarian crisis in Gaza will continue coming up next on Good Morning America. Also coming up this morning on GMA, the latest on the deadly tornadoes that ripped through Tennessee and new video of the damage with hundreds of homes and businesses now destroyed or damaged. In news around the nation, the Christmas and New Year's travel season is likely to be the busiest ever at U.S. airports. AAA says airports could see more than 7 million passengers between December 23rd and January 1st. That's according to the forecast released today. That would top the previous record set in 2019 before the COVID-19 pandemic that disrupted travel worldwide. And if you're driving over the holidays, good news, gas prices are down. Gas Buddy says a gallon of gas is going for less than $3 at more than half of the gas stations in the country. 
The first time that's happened in two years. It is highest in California, where the average is 471. Around here, you'll pay 362 in Kootenai County, just less than four dollars a gallon in Spokane County. We got a program rem programming reminder for you tonight. It's time for another Monday Night Football matchup. You can tune in right here at five o'clock as the Green Bay Packers visit the New York Giants. You can catch Derek Dice for special editions of Four News Now before the game at three o'clock and four o'clock, and then right again after the game is over. Lots of your pets are getting into the holiday spirit. We are getting lots of photos submitted to KXLY.com slash holiday pets. One of those submissions will win a $200 gift, a dollar gift card from Amazon courtesy of BECU. Contest runs through the end of the month.